Hello, everyone. My name is Ernest. I'm co-founder of theprofitroom.com, we're a stock market trade and education company. So what we like to do is like to help people learn how to trade and invest in the different financial markets, more so for freedom and independence, because the market is a great place to find financial independence, also able to create generational wealth. What we like to do, we like to interview some of our students and in this session, we're going to be speaking to Brenetta. And before I have Brenetta introduce herself, we like to have segments like this because we get various students from different backgrounds. And it's great to see like regular people like you and I who got into trading and investing and see some of the journeys that they've been through and some obstacles they had to overcome and how they enjoy it now. Okay, so without do Brenetta, welcome to the proper room. Tell everybody a little bit about yourself. <clears throat> Thank you, Ernest, for having me. Um, a little bit about myself. I am a native from Chicago. I currently live in the Tampa, Florida area. I'm married 18 years. I have three kids. Um, I am a working professional. I also um, have a business that I've run for 10 years, plus a website in addition to a business with my daughter. I have two books on Amazon, and um, I love trying new things, and I love trading. Okay, so you just <laughs> told us a lot. So <laughs> Like you see everybody, she has a busy life, you know, wife, mother, entrepreneur, and so much stuff going on, author as well. So first of all, congratulations with all of that. All those accomplishments aren't like, you know, relationship, things of that nature. It takes time to do all of that stuff and also to still venture out and wanting to learn how to trade and invest. So my next question to you, why did you want to get involved with trading and investing? Well, uh, my love for trading started, I guess, my first year out of college. Um, I got put on to, I guess, was it Fidelity at a time when you couldn't use things like Robinhood and Weeble and TD Ameritrade. And I got in a trade. That was my first taste of the market. Um, and even though I lost money, it still kind of like ramped me up and wanted, made me want to learn more about it. So back then, I just started investing, putting money in the stock market with my job. Um, never thought that you could do it really for profit, you know, like buy and sell, buy and sell. It's just more like buy and hold for the long term. Um, until maybe 2018, um, I was on a job and a video came up about a girl making a lot of money and it was options. And I had never heard about options before. And it just really piqued my interest because um, here I am trying to then buy and sell a stock here, make five dollars here two dollars there but then when I learned about options and how you can really do it for profit that piqued my interest in about 2018. Okay great so I know a lot of people they start off that with like retirement first mm -hmm. and they realize that oh hey I could do this for income and I think that was one of my biggest things as well is that when you think about stock market the first thing you think is retirement you think a long term and mm -hmm. you know you can continue to work but when your eyes open like you said, you saw a video, you saw someone that's generating income, mm -hmm. you know, earlier instead of waiting for retirement. And that's the beauty behind learning how to trade and invest in the stock market mm -hmm. is that you can make short term profit. You can leave mm -hmm. that long term alone and still contribute it, but you can still find ways to make it um, short term. So yeah. that's great. Another thought process with that made you decide to get educated. So you came over to the profit room. Explain <laughs> a, letter, a little bit about your process of coming to us okay. and how you, um, what you experienced with that. Okay, when I saw the young lady online selling the options class, at the time I could not afford it, but of course it stayed in my mind um, and I continued to trade on my phone, Robin Hood here and there. Um, and then um, I was in this group, well, I'm still in a group, Stocks and Stilettos, owned by Cassandra. And one day she had a program with LaToya <laughs> and it was how to swing trade. And when I got into that class, that was like the, I learned about candlesticks, learned about support and resistance. Um, and just that, how you can make a couple thousand dollars a month swing trading. And if, you know, people don't know, um, the difference in swing trading is you're not holding it a day. You're holding it a couple of days or a week or, you know, a couple of weeks. Um, so I just learned about that process. And like, that was the catalyst. 
after the swing trading class, you know, you stayed in contact with Latoya through the personal Facebook group. And, you know, my interest continued to grow. And then that made me want to learn about options more in depth. And I, you all had a class. So I said, I'm going to take your class and um, got in the, the group. I have the group right here on my other computer <laughs> watching what they're doing right now. And then I took your features class. So it's like I became a lifelong profit room student after basically meeting Latoya. So how would you say our process is? Because a lot of people always ask, um, they always say, hey, I'm taking a course versus mentorship. So can you explain that process? What do you feel is the difference between the two? Because I mean, um, when you're learning, everybody learns a little bit different. How do you feel our process is maybe a little bit different from others or maybe just in general? I took the options class and even the futures I bought the course and it's self-paced, even though your time, you know, times and you have a certain amount of time for the material, um, it's still self-paced. You take the options course, you watch the videos, you do the homework, um, and then you move on to the next level. Um, so that's really the process that it was for me. And it was one-on-one -on -one. with the options class. I got a chance to talk to you all after each homework assignment to make sure I really understood the support, the resistance, the candlesticks, what I'm seeing before I went to the next phase. Gotcha. All right. That's good. Because one thing um, I always like to mention to people is that when they do take a, you know, like you said, a systematic course, sometimes we get always the answers. Oh, I feel like I'm going to be by myself. I feel like I don't understand. And that's why we really do provide the homework and also try to give um, to mentorship program because everybody is a little bit different. You know, like um, group classes work in the sense of giving you that nice feeler to bring mm -hmm. you into the market. But then sometimes you got to zone in on what you want as an individual. And that's mm -hmm. what we try to provide with a lot of our, our mentorship uh, programs and things of that nature. So, so far, do you think at this point from the education that you received that you are confident enough to enter a trade, exit a trade and um, take profits? I definitely feel that um, through the education that I'm confident enough to, to enter, see where I need to take my profit, see my stop loss, um, know my support resistance and candlesticks. I really think that's the foundation before anybody starts trading. Those are the things you really need to learn before you say, well, I'm going to go in and buy and sell. No, you need to know where to buy, where to sell, where to get the money. And, you know, so definitely. Correct. And more importantly, understanding like the markets in general. Yeah. So one thing we like to promote for everybody that's watching, like someone like Brenetta, right? She was exposed to the market and we get exposed. And the first thing we do, we like, we get excited. Mm -hmm. We want to put money in the market. We just want to trade, but she's explaining to you. That's why I asked her the confidence about entering a trade exit in the tree and she mentioned a major term which is called like a stop loss so a stop <laughs> loss is our risk management right in our community we can't afford to have disposable income so a stop loss protects our initial investment or protects our profits so that's where trading and investing gets a bad reputation we hear a lot of people say i lost a lot of money in investment don't trade the stock market don't do this don't do that in majority of time because they didn't have proper risk management. So Renetta is telling you that she has the knowledge of the risk management. It's just like anything else. If you're in real estate, if you're in retail, anything that you do, you have to learn how to cut your losses. Yeah. And you also have to learn how to anticipate when to buy in order to book profits. And it's, it's amazing that once you learn how to do that with more and more practice, and more and more time, you get consistent at it. And um, that's what Renata is learning to do. I think with the risk management, proper risk management is where you keep your money, you know, because sometimes a trade will go against you and like it could drop at any time or it can go up if you're shorting. But if you have proper risk management, that's where you're going to keep your money in your pocket versus, you know, giving it to the, to the market. And I had to learn that the hard way. But every time I learn it, I'm like, that's my lesson. You know, maybe I didn't put a stop loss this time trying to get in quick. But I always wrote back, like, you know, your trading rules. Um, and when you stick to your trading plan, you know, that's where you can make your money. Correct. So let me ask you a question with a lot of people don't know. 
can you make money when the stock market goes down? Yes. And that was another thing that I learned from the profit room. Never thought about it, never heard it, never knew it called shorting. Um, you can make money when the market goes up or goes down. That's why once you learn, you know, the found, the foundation of the support resistance and technicals and candlesticks, you literally can't lose. I mean, you can make money when it goes up and you can make money when it goes down. So no matter when they say, man, the market is red, you can still make green, you know? <laughs> Yeah, that's that's one of the biggest things like we try to teach people, right? Like I said, Bernetta, she's already a professional and doing her own thing. Now she has that skill like a hedge fund has in order to make money on both sides of the market. I remember when I was trading and being mentored more during the crash and my trading coach, they traded one stock all 2008 and that stock went from like $115 and she traded it all the way down to like $15 mm. in just a whole year. And as the market was going lower, she was just trading the same one over and over again. So for a lot of you guys that don't understand it, it's just the same way as making money when the market goes up. It's just going down. And we show you that. And it's very important that you know how to do that. And that's what I was, uh, a lot of questions we had talking to Bernetta about is she understands the market now. So it's not like, okay, I'm excited. Let me just put money in there. That's why I asked her, did she know how to get in the trade, exit the trade, and that's a stop loss. Now that's for both sides of the market, mm -hmm. right? Because if you know how to do it for both sides, you still know how to perfect, uh, you protect, excuse me, yourself financially. Because it's mm -hmm. very important with trading that we protect ourselves. All right, so... One last question, because we don't want to hold you up too long. What do you look forward to in the future with like trading <laughs> and investing, things of that nature, some goals that you might want to share with everybody? Um, well, I look forward in the future to doing this um, primarily. Um, I Like I say, I'm a working professional, but I have a two-year goal, and my two-year goal is to double my salary trading within two years. So that's by July, what's this, 2021? So by July 2023, um, it's just, I want to prove to myself if I could double my salary in two years that I know that without a job that I can trade full time. Um, so over the next two years, I just look at life as, or this trading as a journey. I'm, a, you know, I'm all in learning, charting, whatever I need to do. Um, and it's possible when I look at the other students of the profit room, it is so possible. I can make, actually meet my goal in a year, you know, but I've just given myself that extra year, but it's so possible. Yep. And you definitely can just mm -hmm. stick with it. You know, that's what we say. We always tell students stay in the charts, stay connected. And more importantly, you know, don't lose that why what you're trying to actually do. All right. So we thank you so much. Like always, we tell everybody, um, you know, make sure you come to the profitroom.com, subscribe. Um, we're here to help and motivate people so they can be independent professional traders. Like we say, as always, get educated and trade safe. And we'll see you soon. Thank you. Bye. Bye. -bye.